My name is David Schellabarger and in this video I'll show you how to set up SmartLock 2.0 and also point out some of the differences between the Froyo version of Android and some of the other versions. Alright, so to begin with, I'm going to launch the application tray and grab SmartLock and drag it to the desktop. I'll go ahead and click on it. To set up SmartLock, you just click on one of the uh, modes here. I'm going to select the child lock mode. It will ask me if I if I want to turn on the accessibility service. It's required, so I'll click OK. The accessibility service uh, is required because SmartLock needs a few more permissions than most Android applications. Essentially, I have to know which application is running in the foreground so I can uh, decide whether to lock that application or not. Uh, this dialog mentions that I'll be able to have access to the text that you type into applications, but I don't uh, actually access that. And even if I did access that, I can't send it off of the phone. If you remember when you installed SmartLock, you'll notice that there's no internet permissions here, so everything stays on your device. I can't send you know, your passwords back to me anyway. So I'll click OK here, and then once we have those two checkboxes, this one and this one down here checked, go back, and then we'll recheck the uh, child lock, and we'll get one more screen. This says to uh, set up a system unlock pattern. So this is where uh, this version and some of the previous versions of Android will differ a little bit. This is actually a system screen. And uh, this is the Froyo version. The other versions look a little bit different. Uh, specifically, Donut through Eclair are going to look a little bit different than this screen does. Alright, so on uh, Froyo, I'm going to click Set Up Screen Lock. And then right now, Smart Lock only supports the Pattern option. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to draw a pattern like this and then confirm that pattern and then click back to get back into smart lock and now we're all ready if we check the box we'll get smart lock is ready at the top in the notification let me show you how that works on the uh, older versions all right so from this dialog We'll go into the system settings, and this screen looks a little bit different on uh, older versions. Just scroll down and do set unlock pattern, and then this is the same here. And confirm. And then we back out. We'll switch back to the Froyo build. Alright, so now. Um, in this case, child lock is running in the background. The same would happen for smart lock or no lock. No lock, you won't have to sit, set the system unlock pattern, but for child lock and smart lock classic, you will. So the first time you turn off uh, smart lock, you'll get a dialog asking you if you want to turn off the system unlock pattern as well. On Froyo, you'll have to go to settings manually and uh, change screen unlock and then do none in order to turn it off and now we're back to the main uh, slide to unlock screen on the uh, oops on older versions this is actually a little bit easier so I'll turn smart lock on or child lock mode and then turn it off and I can actually just click yes here and it will turn it off in the background for me. Now if I want to turn it back on, this time I don't have, it'll remember what my pattern unlock was and I can just check that box and, uh, and it's all set. I'll do now, I don't want to turn it off. All right, so that's how you uh, set up smart lock. If you want to watch any other videos, you can watch them from Watch Tutorials here or send me feedback. Thanks for watching.